The GigaNet Category 6A shielded toolless jack is fully standards compliant to 500 MHz and when installed as part of the GigaNet Category 6A channel supports 10 gigabits per second Ethernet up to a distance of 100 meters. The connector comprises an RJ45 jack with insulation displacement clips, a plastic wiring cap and a shield case. The wiring cap has color-coded labels to indicate the correct conductor locations for both the T568A and T568B wiring codes. Once terminated to the cable, the connectors simply clip into the back of the GigaNet faceplate and patch panel. The connector is suitable for use with any type of screened or shielded Category 6A or higher performance cable. This presentation shows the connector being used with GigaNet F-FTP low smoke zero halogen cable. The recommended GigaNet tools for cable termination are the GN561010 cable stripper, the GN-10G-FTP tool crimp tool, and the GN561071 cutting tool. The cable stripper can be used on a variety of cable types, but for removing the jacket of GigaNet 10G shielded cable, only the front blade is needed. Use a small crosshead screwdriver to adjust the cutting depth of the blade so that it scores through the cable jacket without cutting through to the wires underneath. Use the cable stripper to score and remove a short section of the cable jacket and outer foil. Snip the cable jacket adjacent to the drain wire position. Then use this wire to make a 40mm longitudinal cut in the jacket as shown here. Separate the jacket from the foil and trim away the jacket leaving the foil and drain wire in place. Fold the exposed foil back down the cable and wrap the drain wire around the foil and cable jacket. Identify the colour code of each of the cable pairs. In this presentation, we'll be using the T568B wiring code, so insert the brown and orange pairs through the slots of the wiring block. For the T568A wiring code, the brown and green pairs should be inserted through the slots. Cut and remove the aluminium foil of each pair from just behind the wire slots. Untwist each pair just enough to feed each individual conductor into its appropriate wire guide. Be careful not to allow any aluminium foil to enter the wire slots. Repeat the same process with the remaining two pairs. Open the termination tool and put the keystone jack into the correct position with the two shield wings open. Reverse the wiring block and push it down onto the jack housing guide so that it fits correctly over the insulation displacement clips. Then push the cable into the cable holder. Close the termination tool so that the wiring block clicks into the jack. Cut off and clear the excess wires from the wiring block. It's important that this is done correctly to avoid short circuits. Close both sides of the wings and push them firmly so that they clip securely onto the wiring block. 
Place the cable tie around the shielding base, making sure that the cable foil is in tight contact with the shielding base. Trim away the excess cable tie and aluminium foil. To fit the connector into the GigaNet faceplate, rotate it by 180 degrees, then snap it in place as shown here. The connector fits into the rear of the GigaNet shielded panel in the same way, and once fully inserted, is automatically earth bonded to the panel. A grounding wire is included with the panel so that it can be earthed in accordance with the prevailing electrical codes or standards. The cables can be tied to the cable management bar, which is included with the GigaNet 10G shielded panel. The GigaNet Category 6A shielded cabling system is eligible for the GigaNet 25-year 10G system warranty. For more details of this and the full GigaNet product set, visit www.giga-net.co.uk.